Hi there, thanks for joining us here on the web. I'm Erin Falo. New Hampshire's Haitian community is coming together to help victims of Hurricane Matthew. Many members are still waiting to hear from their loved ones in storm ravaged Haiti. The full extent of the damage isn't yet clear due to the poor communication, blocked roads, and washed out bridges. First Haitian Baptist Church in Manchester is holding a fundraiser for the hurricane victims this Saturday. They're asking people to donate clothing, food and money. And you can find more information by visiting our website, WMUR.com. A Massachusetts man is now facing charges in connection with a deadly crash in New Durham. A grand jury indicted 22 year old Christopher Riley on two counts of negligent homicide. Court documents say that Riley was under the influence of drugs when he crashed into a car on Route 11 back in September of 2015. Two people in that car, 83 year old Linwood Carter and 80 year old Sally Carter died from their injuries. Investigators now say a deadly fire in Seabrook earlier this week was caused by the improper disposal of smoking materials. And the state fire marshal's office says that 63 year old George Wynn died from smoke inhalation. His body was found inside his first floor apartment on Lafayette Road early Monday morning. A Manchester woman could face up to life in prison after admitting to selling fentanyl and heroin. 25 year old Jeanette Hardy was arrested last year after she suffered a gunshot wound to her hand. Police say they found nearly four pounds of fentanyl in her home and about $765,000 in cash between the house, a safe deposit box and a storage unit. She'll be sentenced in January. The Goffstown Police Department announced just this morning that its officers will now be wearing body cameras. The department says that people will be notified about the cameras whenever possible during police interactions. The officers will be wearing the body cams by the end of the week. And that's it for your morning webcast. Thanks for joining us. We'll have more news on the air for you today at noon.